Hey y'all, today we have a Quantum Catalyst 30 PT. That doesn't crank. Turns like that, but obviously it doesn't turn with the handle. So let's check it out. This is one of those wheels that has the uh, the bearing cover or the side cover that screws out, but it doesn't affect the handle. Alright, so let's open this up. I know that the line roller doesn't work because I tried that before starting the video. But besides that, I don't know anything else. While I'm opening this up, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like and be sure to tell your friends about the channel as well just moving this cap so I can get that undo that nut there hopefully it comes up oh, good somewhere in here. Hopefully that's the only thing only thing that's wrong with it. Someone doing these two screws up here. Those two look to be the same size, and that one as well. They look to have some plastic thing around them, but one just disintegrated, the other two are intact. But the main thing is all the screws are the same size. All right, so let's see if we can get this open. Hear a lot of crunchiness inside there, so this might be a beat reel. And the bearing might be stuck. We're gonna find out really quickly. crunchy Thank you. 
I think the bearing is stuck on there. Right, I'm just going to pause the camera and work on getting this off. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. Uh, I want to say this got lucky there because this, this gear is stopping it from coming up above this. What I was trying to do was turn this um, side plate to where I could see that screw right there and unscrew that so I could pull the shaft up and pick this up because I saw that this side wasn't this side wasn't stuck but that didn't happen and then it's just kept playing with it and got it to turn enough to slip out that way all right so let's continue doesn't look bad inside like most of these reels do those are pretty good in terms of like keeping a lot of stuff out. I see some sand here, but nothing really inside there. Let's see if we can get this out. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I got a call and it was a long call, so I just kept on working on this while I was talking. So you're going to miss some of the steps or some of the things that I did. But I can tell you what I did. Uh, basically, I checked this. And it's a little funky inside, but it's not terrible. And it still works. So we can clean that up, I think, if we can't get a part for it. Uh, the bearing on the bottom was fine. See, I just turned this, and it all felt like it works not that it's fine per se but it, it works so it's functional so I just stuck this back on there this was stiff I kind of cleaned this area up a little bit this was a little stiff so I sprayed that with some uh, corrosion X uh, but it's not terrible again it doesn't move it's supposed to stay where it is and this rotates so in any event what I did was I just kind of reassembled everything after I got everything to make sure that everything could turn like this bearing I removed uh, from the back of this you see the wear that's on the uh, the main gear there and from this so I freed all those things up and I just wanted to test it up so I just put it back in the way it was with the shim on the main gear Then I just covered it up and tested it. Because what I was looking for to see if just freeing those things up will help it work and be fine. So then I turned this and it feels stiff. I'm just squeezing the case down versus putting the screws on. Put on the handle and it feels tight. So I already know that if I screw this in, it's not gonna work, it's gonna be the same issue the customer's having. So essentially what I what I thought was was that the shim on here is raised up because of all the corrosion. Uh, so I cleaned it off, but I still couldn't get it to work. So I just removed the shim and put it back in. Then tried it again. And that works a lot better. It's a lot freer. So that's a good trick for you guys or a good um, possible lesson if you have a reel that's acting up the same way and either the parts are not going to be available or you just want to fix it and make it work. And now it works. So basically all we had to do was remove that shim. Now that doesn't fit the, fix the line roller issue, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna break this down and see if I can uh, clean that up or I don't know if there's a bearing inside there or a bushing, but I'll open up and see. But this is the main part right here. So hope to help some of you guys out there. Again, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the content that I put out. Uh, hit the like button, of course, and let your friends know about it as well. All right. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.